Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Science Intellectual. In this video, we are covering two sections, section 99 and section 100, two very important sections under Indian Patents Act 1970. These sections come under chapter 17, use of inventions for purposes of government and acquisition of inventions by central government. Section 99 meaning of use of invention for purposes of government subsection 1 an invention is said to be used for the purpose of government if it is made used exercised or vented for the purposes of central government or state government or government undertaking that is when any central government or state government or government undertaking organization will make use exercise or vend any invention then that will be said to be used for the purpose of government subsection 3 nothing contained in this chapter shall apply in respect of any such importation making using of any machine apparatus or other article or such using of any process or such importation using or distribution of medicine or drug as may be made by virtue of one or more of the conditions specified in section 47 section 47 deals with the conditions that is applied in case of grant of a patent now nothing will be against that section 47 when these factors are considered Section 100. Power of central government to use inventions for purposes of government. It's a very important chapter under Indian Patents Act. Subsection 1. Notwithstanding anything contained in this Act, at any time after an application for a patent has been filed at the patent office or patent has been granted, that is, before or after grant of patent may it be in the application stage or may it be in the grant stage the central government and any other authorized person in writing may use the invention for the purpose of government in accordance with the provisions of this chapter that is before or after grant of a patent central government or any authorized person by the central government in writing may use the invention for the purpose of government subsection 2 where an invention has been before the priority date of the relevant claim of the complete specification duly recorded in a document or tested or tried by or on behalf of the government or government undertaking otherwise than in consequence of the communication of the invention directly or indirectly by the patentee or a person from whom he derives title or any use of the invention by the central government or any person authorized in writing by central government for the purpose of government may be made free of any royalty or other remuneration to the patentee that is when any invention before the priority date that is before the claim has been claimed in that case if it is duly recorded or tested or tried by central government or government undertaking or maybe in communication with any person or use of the invention by the central government or person authorized by the central government for the purpose of government then patentee will not be given any royalty or remuneration for that section 100 subsection 3 if and so far as the invention has not been recorded or tried or tested as mentioned in subsection 2 any use of invention made by the central government or any authorized person by the central government 
at any time after the grant of patent or in consequence of any such communication shall be made upon terms agreed upon either before or after the use between the central government or authorized person by the central government and the patentee or in default of agreement determined by high court so when an invention is not recorded or tried or tested as said in subsection 2 any use of invention by central government or authorized person by the central government after grant of the patent or in consequence of any communication to them shall be made upon terms and that term will be agreed either before or after the use between central government and the authorized person by the central government and the patentee or maybe by the high court now provided in case of any such use of any patent the patentee shall be paid not more than adequate remuneration in circumstances of each case so in this in this case patentee will be given adequate remuneration taking into account economic value of the use of the patent section 100 subsection 4 the authorization by the central government in respect of any invention either before or after grant either before or after the act in respect of such authorization is given or done may be given to any person whether he is not authorized directly or indirectly by the applicant or patentee he may be or he may not be authorized directly or indirectly by the applicant or patentee to make use exercise or vend the invention or import machine apparatus article or medicine or drug covered by patent so central government can make authorization to a person who is not or may be authorized directly or indirectly by the applicant or patentee to make use exercise or vend the invention or import machine apparatus or other article or medicine or drug covered by any patent subsection 5 where an invention has been used by or with the authority of central government for the purposes of central government or government except in case of national emergency extreme urgency or non-commercial use the government shall notify the patentee as soon as practicable and furnish him with such information as to the extent of the use of the invention from time to time reasonably required and where the invention has been used for the purposes of government undertaking the central government may call for such information as may be necessary for this purpose from such undertaking that is when the invention has been used by or with the authority of central government for the purposes of government except in case of national emergency or extreme urgency or non-commercial use patentee or government undertaking has to furnish the information to the extent of use of invention in time to time manner section 100 subsection 6 right to make use exercise and vend an invention for the purposes of government also includes right to sell on non commercial basis the goods have been made in exercise of that right and a purchaser of goods so sold whatever goods has been sold the purchaser and the person claiming through him shall have the power to deal with the goods as if the central government or the authorized person by the central government were the patentee of the invention 
so when the purchaser is having the good or it is sold to the purchaser then he will have the power to deal with the goods as if the central government or the authorized person by the central government were the patentee of the invention subsection 7 where in respect of a patent which has been the subject of an authorization there is an exclusive licensee as referred to in subsection 3 of section 101 it will be covered in upcoming video or where such patent has been assigned to the patentee in consideration of royalty or other benefits determined by reference to the use of the invention the notice directed to be given under subsection 5 shall also be given to such exclusive licensee or assigner and the reference to the patentee shall be deemed to include reference to such assigner or exclusive licensee so when any patent has exclusive licensee related to it then whatever notice will be given to the patentee it will be given to the assigner or licensee as well section 100 subsection 5 provides that any person including government undertaking using patented invention for the purpose of government has to furnish the information on the use of invention as required by the central government now section 146 provides that the patentee has to furnish a statement regarding the working of patented invention in commercial scale in india in form 27 thank you viewers for watching the video please share and subscribe the channel scientelectual and if you like the video please give a like we are providing the necessary informations regarding indian patents act 1970 aiming to provide the guidance during the preparation of Indian Patent Agent exam. Thank you again.